today we get interrupted every 11 minutes in the workplace and it takes about 23 minutes it's faster than that yeah faster i think it would be more more than that I oh mean, more i have bigger case. well i think it's definitely bigger like i was talking to someone they said you know if we were simulating the digital interruptions we get it would be it would feel like somebody's tapping on knocking on your shoulder every five seconds so it's really bad and it takes about 23 minutes on average to focus again so when you do the math we're wasting more than half of our day just for context switching so but more than that it impacts everything like we never feel accomplished you go home you feel overwhelmed and so for us we our aim is to really remove interruptions and change the way we work for the future and how do you do that so we do that by bringing all of the collaboration apps that we use like slack and jira and github all in one desktop app and then remove notifications and give you a smart inbox of all your conversations. So the idea, instead of you walking into work, opening every app separately, you just open one system, you're not gonna get interrupted, you take control back of your focus and when you need to deal with things. So removing that fake sense of emergency. So it's like back in the day when you had like AOL and Yahoo Instant Messaging. But a lot better, <laughs> a lot better than that though. A lot better. You had, a, you had that, you know, like combined app where you could see them all, right? Yes. So, so when you say it's a smart inbox, yes. can you kind of describe what that means? Absolutely. So, and just to be clear, it's a centralized workspace so you can still access all your apps. But then on top you have the Vimly um, smart feed where we, what we do is we, we take in all your conversation from different places like comments on documents, on tickets, messages, emails, and then we sort them, but what needs attention first, and then what needs action, then everything else. So how do you determine what's important and what's not? Very good question. So we developed our own AI that helps really determine like, if something bad has happened, like system is down, or a big bug, or um, anything that needs your attention, like a request, for instance. But also things like that are assigned to you, that you're, or you're tagged in. So it's a combination of different algorithms that help determine that, but also the minute you start using the app, we learn from you as well what matters for you. And how much do I as a user have control over what that inbox looks like? Very good question too. So one of the things, let's take Slack for example. Slack is very overwhelming because the more the organization grows, the more channels you have and you have that FOMO effect, like you feel like you need to see everything. And so what we do, you can, con you can pick the channels you want to see in your smart feed, like the ones that concern you, usually three or four. And then you can still go, like you're going into Slack to deal with everything else. But again, the whole point of the smart inbox is that you focus on what's important to you first. So you can customize it that way.